As another hectic week was coming to a close, our first attempts to shoot Comet A3 were just beginning. Within a tight window each morning, between getting our breakfast prepared, plus kids' lunches ready for school before leaving to work, we managed to squeeze in some astrophotography in a short time frame. Allison and I grabbed our camera gear to attempt to capture some photos of Comet Tsu Chin Shan Atlas C 2023A3. We had been excited about this comet for months and grew even more excited when we heard that it was brightening to naked eye visibility levels. As Allison set up her camera for a 15 minute photo session, we quickly realized this comet wasn't going to be as easy for us to shoot as Leonard and Neo Eyes were. We were dealing with a bright street lamp in the direction of Comet A3. This paired with the intense glow of light pollution in our Dallas suburban neighborhood and the comet low on the horizon, we could tell it was going to make for some rough photo sessions. Buses from elementary schools started making their way through the neighborhood while Allison snapped off a few shots under the crescent moon. The sun was beginning to wash out the sky, but not before we captured our first attempt at Comet A3. Our time was up for the day, so we headed inside to get ready for school and work. The second day was another chaotic morning of astrophotography for us. After dropping Preston off at school to ride with his cross-country team, we hurried across the DFW Metroplex to both watch his race and shoot Comet A3. Allison and I barely made it to the polo grounds in time to shoot, so she quickly got her gear together and set up while we watched the sky get brighter by the second. Under the wet moon, we knew time was almost up as kids were already warming up on the field. This place was unfamiliar territory and we had to figure out the comet's position before it was too late. Finally, we found A3 under these darker urban skies that had a few more stars in our neighborhood. But since there was no time to get her tracker on her long lens, Allison made the quick decision and frantically worked to swap out to a shorter focal length. Unfortunately, the moment was over. The sky was too bright. Time was up. At least we had a race to enjoy. Funny thing is, watching a sea of hundreds of cross-country athletes almost felt as chaotic as the morning we had just experienced trying to shoot Comet A3. Preston beat his time, so that made the morning worth it. Sometimes it's the little things. It's a stargazer's nightmare. Clouds are our enemy. The comet was impossible to see on Sunday. But was that NASA's solar sail, ACS-3, we spotted? I'll save that for another video. Have you ever tried shooting astrophotography in the middle of a street? There was only one angle to see Comet A3 clearly in our limited shooting window Monday, and that involved fighting cars. But Allison was a trooper and made the best of it. Meanwhile, I set my sights on another celestial object and turned my attention to shooting the waning crescent moon smiling down on us. Thankfully, Allison was able to fit in a couple more shots without any road traffic. The sky was getting too bright and it was time for us to head off to work. I feel like this one's a keeper. Our window to shoot Comet A3 was getting shorter and shorter as it was visible later each morning. So Tuesday, October 1st, was our last attempt. That is, until we try again under darker skies and get back to RVing. The comet is getting brighter, so we expect a great show in mid-October with darker skies and a shift to sunset comet viewing. Even under rough astrophotography conditions, Allison stuck it out and captured two images that turned out pretty nice, I'd say. Bright neighborhood lights, dodging cars, and a short shooting window, plus plenty of urban light pollution didn't deter her from some good shots. Hopefully our next few attempts will be even better and calmer.